Yes, people, welcome to Crime Daily. An Encrol track drug dealer's sophisticated international crime network was destroyed by the personal messages he sent to his contacts. George Marsh shared details about his birthday and the dates of his father's death and funeral. This insight allowed detectives to match the messages of Encrol track codenamed Sneaky Stem and Wacky Silver to the 33 year old. Marsh was linked to the distribution of 25 kilos of cocaine, 110 kilos of cannabis and one kilo of ketamine and pleaded guilty to conspiracy on all of them. His enterprise saw him work with Bradley Luxton who used the Encrow chat handle Sue Pedge and Mary Sword and was locked up for 16 years in August. Marsh was brought down by an investigation that led to police storming his home on Park Road North in Birkenhead as well as two container units in June. Search teams recovered a Rolex watch and £82,000 in the operation. Examination of his Encrow chat messages revealed he had almost 30 contacts on the shadowy communications network as well as access to a stashed vehicle used to transport drugs in secret. The content also blew apart his initial claim that he only brought cocaine from Luxton and never supplied Class A drugs to his partner. Emery Riding, prosecuting, said he had international drugs contacts in Portugal, Spain and Germany as you could see by specific messages, in one of which he provided a price for cocaine to Bradley Luxton, expressed in euros, destroying the proposition he had only ever sourced drugs from him. Ian Whitehurst, defending, said his client understood the devastation he had wreaked and displayed remorse in a frank and open letter to the court. Marsh has previous convictions linked to drug offences, Mr Whitehurst said. The illness of his father had a detrimental impact on his business activity and he went back to his old ways. Now a listener helping other inmates in jail, the court was told Marsh accepts he has let himself down and let his family down. Judge David Arbery QC told Marsh that judge wreak havoc and wreck lives as he sentenced him to 16 years. He said you admitted trading in desperation and destitution, you were driven by greed and a complete disregard for the impact on others. Marsh's business partner Luxton of Birch Avenue in Upton was locked up after he admitted being involved in a supply of 31 kilos of cocaine, 4 kilos of heroin, 200 MDMA tablets, 51 kilos of cannabis and 14 grams of ketamine. The 34-year-old's home, the 34 year old's home was raided in March when he was arrested and police seized his, and police seized designer clothing. Both of his EncroChat devices were also seized, as well as detailed ledgers with which he kept drug dealing accounts in a meticulous financial detail Liverpool Crown Court heard. Police discovered Luxton dealt drugs across the UK and ploughed money from his drug dealing business into renovating his borough home. Reflected in him, also admitting the charge of conspiring to convert criminal property, he moaned in messages how he made 300 grand in two months but, but lost a lot when it was stolen. Luxton said he was robbed twice and how bad debts were a nightmare. The dad said he remained in the game after 380 grand's worth of drugs were stolen and he had to repay the debt to EncroChat user Tops King. Another mad story guys, comment, like, subscribe yeah? Peace.